Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna see how to fire with our weapon. Everything is pretty much set up almost, so we're gonna be able to shoot now. So we're gonna go to our input action for firing. We're gonna create a branch. We're gonna connect this branch to the firing. Our condition for the branch will be the same as here. So we're just gonna copy this and put it right up here. And we're going to put that in the branch here. From our release key, we're just going to set our is shooting to false. So we're going to take is shooting. Uh, I think it's under Boolean. Uh, let's find out. Is shooting. No, it's under av weapon. So we're going to take our is shooting. I'm going to set it to false. From the first branch, we're going to create another branch true to the branch and from false we're going to create another branch and right there so we're going to take our is aiming and plug it right there and from the branch here just going to move a little bit from that we're going to play a sound at location play sound at location it's optional this little part but I like it to to have it so get actor and we're gonna take our actor location and here I'm gonna put rifle underscore ammo I'm gonna take the one that say pickup so I'm gonna take this one here so basically you know when we or not if we're aiming in or magazine is empty it's gonna play that click 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 sound for us uh, so we're gonna continue here from the second branch we're gonna go up and we're gonna search for is shooting we are gonna set or is shooting we're gonna make that to true we're gonna search for delay and our delay we're gonna leave the number as is we're gonna move further. We're gonna do another branch. We're gonna connect this branch there, and this time we're gonna use can fire. So we're gonna search for can fire, and plug it right there. All right? As you, you guys probably remember, can fire is only to verify if we have enough bullets in our magazine to shoot. Right? Otherwise, we don't want to be able to shoot. Uh, so go move further down, and we're gonna play another sound at location. So play sound at location and this time it's gonna be the rifle sound so we're gonna search for rifle uh, it's rifle B so rifle B and I think we can go for Q here so get different sound effect and same we're gonna play that at location so we can take this one here and just plug it right there or you can just create another one if you want to so from that here we're gonna move and we're just gonna continue and we're gonna play an animation after playing the sound so we're just gonna drag here we're gonna play animation and if I'm is the animation for the mesh here let me double check no actually the one for the the weapon so we're gonna play animation from the one for the weapon and from that, we're just gonna select the animation. So it's gonna be fire underscore rifle and it's W, so this one here. We're gonna continue here. We're gonna call our bullet direction. So bullet direction. And from that, we're gonna call our function use ammo because every time we shoot, we want to use ammo. We're gonna create another branch. We're gonna connect the branch right here. From that branch, we're gonna verify that we are in full automatic or not. So we're gonna take full automatic right here. Put it right there. We're gonna do another branch, put it right under from false. And we're gonna verify if we are in burst fire. We're gonna put it right there. And we're gonna move here and from that we're gonna call auto fire so we're gonna call auto fire 
function because if we are in auto fire we want to use the function auto fire if we're not we're going to check if we are in burst fire so if we're in burst fire we're going to search for do end note we're going to take this one here so just it's just the amount of time that we want to remember to do once well this one is just the amount of time we want to have that um done right so do once do it one time this it's doing the amount of time what we put right here uh so we're going to take our burst to shot uh right here and we're going to plug it right there like so we're going to take our from exit here we're going to search for burst actually if i know how to spell so we're going to search for burst fire put it right there and from the burst fire here we're just gonna search for a branch lock the branch right there from true we're gonna search for delay and the delay will be 0.15 and the count well the count need to be equal so we're gonna search for an equal we're gonna take this one here the first one and we'll put two which is the same number as our burst shot here and we're going to plug it right there so we can compile that and save that now we're just going to verify the code make sure everything is good to go for us so we're going to go all the way back to here so basically when we press it's going to go to that first branch it's going to verify that we do have enough ammo and that we are not currently reloading. If all this is good, it's mean that it's true. We're going to go to the other branch. That branch is going to verify if we are aiming or not. If we're not aiming, it's going to go to the second branch here. And that second branch is going to verify are we aiming or not. If we're aiming, it's going to play the sound of empty clip because we have no more bullet. If we are aiming from the true here it's going to go and activate is shooting it's going to wait two point sorry point two seconds and it's going to go to that branch here so can we fire but actually i just found that by reviewing there's a little problem here we have to call uh, our function enough if i remember how to to spell it so enough ammo and after that we call our branch can fire because if you remember here in enough ammo it's verifying that we do have enough error ammo in our current clip so and it's giving us the authorization to fire but to have the authorization to fire we have to call this function first right so we'll go here so we call this it's gonna make sure that we can fire so if we have enough bullet in our clip we can fire so it's gonna play the sound here it's going to go to and play this animation for our weapon. It's going to call the bullet direction. It's going to use some ammo. And it's going to hear the branch. It's going to verify are we full automatic or not. If we're full automatic, it's going to go to automatic. If we're not, they're going to verify we're burst. And burst here, well, it's going to do it once. Well, about not once, but the amount of time that we decided here with our variable which is two so it's gonna count zero one two so it's gonna be three shots here we're gonna count to two make sure we go not above two so zero one two so it's matching our number here so we're all good with that it's gonna activate a burst fire and the condition is obviously that it's no more than two and it's gonna do a delay of 0.15 seconds and reset that so we can do it once again um, so go all the way down here so from your um, from your burst logic here make sure your burst logic look exactly like this so everything is working properly and from your delay here you're gonna take that and you're gonna plug it to your play sound at location right here because when we shoot in burst fire we want to play that sound as well right all this it's already activated when we click and this it's all play for us after but when when burst fire we start from here right so we have to go all the way up here same thing with 
auto fire here and make sure that everything is look the same on your computer for auto fire all right and you're gonna plug your delay plug but connect your delay all the way up to play sound at location so now we're good with this but as you remember we need to set up our verbal aiming so we're able to shoot right so if we go all the way down here to our aim logic just take your aiming uh, variable and plug it right there and put a true and false to the other one so this would be bigger but just for now uh, it's, it's going to show you that we can shoot at least with our weapon but in another video this will doing all the calculation when we shoot in the middle of the screen when we're standing or crouching it's going to do that for us um, so all the rest seems good to go so oh and an extra thing here if you want another reload you know when you have no more bullets in your clip and you want to auto reload so you don't have to press R on your keyboard just create a custom event so just click custom event and name that auto reload and plug it directly under your reload here and you go all the way up to your uh, event tick and from the sequence one here just go all the way down do a branch take your current clips make sure it's equal equal to zero as a condition and call your function auto reload so it's going to call it for you as soon as you run out of bullet it's going to call the auto reload and the auto reload well it's this basically so instead of you pressing r it's going to do it for you so it's going to reload for you so it's it's pretty uh pretty simple and on your even begin play here i found another mistake uh earlier so you can fix that too on even begin play if you remember when we're setting uh, our verbal for max speed make sure that you set it this way because i put just my variable at the beginning last a uh, couple of video before and uh it was not working properly so make sure that you take your character movement that you can find right here put it there and search for your max walk speed set the max work max walk speed from your character movement and after that plug your max walk speed that your verbal that we created which is 250 right there and your animation will work correctly so we have our stand here don't pay attention to that variable here rifle it was me just trying to uh, do something else because i would like to put pistol in this as well so i was just verifying that um that i this would be a code for rifle or a code for pistol so i just wanted to try something up but actually i can just remove it because i don't need it now so if you compile and try all of that it should work for us so let's play so if we try to shoot when we're not aiming it's doing nothing you can hear me clicking doing nothing and as soon as i aim i can shoot automatic and burst all right so it's working you can't hear the sound because m my setup is just to my voice so you can hear the sound playing on my screen however uh if you set up everything the way i did you should be able to do that so now i'm gonna shoot and it's utter reloading for me so that's perfect i can shoot once if i want and reload manually otherwise it's doing it automatically for us which is very uh, convenient sometime so i guess uh, i'm gonna conclude the video here so i will catch you on the next one and the next one we're gonna speak about uh, aiming logic so i'll catch you on the next one see ya